In this session, we will explore three key game guardian functions, search fuzzy, start fuzzy, and sleep. We will learn how to perform fuzzy searches, initiate them effectively, and manage delays for smoother script execution. These functions are often used when dealing with encrypted, unknown, or hidden values in a game. Fuzzy searches help locate values that are not directly visible, allowing for gradual refinement, while the sleep function introduces delays to ensure smooth execution. When it is called, without arguments, the search fuzzy function keeps the values unchanged in the search results, allowing for further filtering and refinement. This command searches for values that are not equal to zero and removes any values that remain unchanged during the search process. This command filters the search results to only include values that are now greater than zero, helping to track changes where values have increased. This command filters the search results to only include values that are now less than zero, helping to track changes where values have decreased. This command is used to keep values that have increased by exactly 15. It helps refine the search results to only show values that have changed by the specified amount. This command is used to keep values that have decreased by exactly 15. It helps refine the search results to only show values that have changed by the specified amount. This command is used to keep values that are approximately equal to the target. It helps to find values that are close to zero, allowing for some small variation in the results.
This command is used to begin a fuzzy search for D word values. It tells Game Guardian to start searching for 32 bit integer values, which are typically used for storing numeric data in games. Start Fuzzy is used to search for unknown or hidden values and accepts data types like float, double, keyword, byte as arguments. The sleep function is typically used to introduce delays, allowing more time for certain actions between searches or for displaying messages. This helps improve script readability and enhances the user experience by preventing messages from disappearing too quickly. In our example, we pause the script for two seconds. Note that all the values in our examples are arbitrary and can be adjusted as needed. You can modify them based on the specific requirements of your script or the game you are working with. To gain a deeper understanding, we will go through a practical example where we search for specific values using a structured approach. This will help demonstrate how these functions work together in real scenarios. We start by clearing any previous search results to ensure we are working with fresh data. Next, we search for multiple values at once. The numbers 30, 57, and 63 are searched as D-word values, and the function scans the entire memory range. After retrieving results, we refine the search. This filters the results to keep only the values that match 30, making it easier to identify and modify the specific value we are looking for. After refining the search to keep only values matching 30, we check if any results were found using the getResultsCount function. If no results are found, the script displays an alert. This informs the user that the value might be encrypted and suggests switching to a fuzzy search to locate hidden or unknown values. Since no exact results were found, we start a fuzzy search. This allows us to search for unknown values that may change dynamically. Next, we introduce a 5-second delay using the sleep function, giving time to fire a few bullets in the game. This ensures that the relevant values change, making it easier to track them in the next search steps.
After firing bullets, we refine our fuzzy search. This filters out values that did not decrease, helping us identify those related to recoil or ammo count. Next, we introduce another 5 second delay to allow time for reloading. After the reload, we perform search to find values that have increased, likely restoring their original state. Finally, we use the refine number function to keep only values that match zero, narrowing down our search results to identify the exact address we need. Now that we have refined our search, we retrieve up to 10 results using get results and store them in the results variable. We then check if any values were found. If values are found, we modify them using the edit all function, changing the identified recoil values to 999. Afterward, an alert message is displayed to confirm the change. If no values are found, an alternative alert message is shown. This informs the user that they may need to adjust their search method. In this final step, if the initial search successfully finds the recoil value directly, we display an alert to notify the user. We then retrieve up to 10 results using get results and check if any values were found. If results are found, we modify them using edit all to change the recoil value followed by an alert to confirm the modification. If no values are found, another alert is shown, suggesting that the search criteria may need further adjustments. Finally, we use clear results to clear the search results, ensuring a clean slate for future searches and preventing conflicts with previous values.
Whenever you are working with encrypted, unknown, or hidden values, the search fuzzy, start fuzzy, and sleep functions are essential tools for an effective approach. Search fuzzy allows you to refine results based on how values change. Start fuzzy helps initiate a search when the exact value is unknown. Sleep introduces delays to ensure smooth execution. Using these functions together improves accuracy when identifying and modifying hidden game values.